Good afternoon. When I was considering attending college in the late 90s, the fear of algebra almost hindered my enrolling. Yet when I finally surrendered, I had the good fortune to register in Dr. Rosemary Carr's mathematics class. I learned quickly that Dr. Carr wanted her students to learn and she soon became an inspiration to me. That class under Dr. Carr's model teaching started me on my journey to a career in teaching mathematics. Many aspects of Dr. Carr's teaching style motivated me and engaged my fellow students. She modeled the best practices in teaching as she walked around the classroom to check for progress. She empowered the faster students to help others and encouraged all of us through her willingness to share herself with her class. We learned the benefit of a professor who was student-centered and though I can speak only for myself, she encouraged lifelong learners. Each day, as I walk out of my own classroom, I still carry two of the most powerful tools for success in life that were Dr. Carr's gifts to her students, knowledge and confidence. Dr. Carr is worthy of the highest award for her success in the classroom and in her profession. With her integrity, enthusiasm, compassion, charm and intelligence added to her high energy and innovating innovations in the field of mathematics, I can imagine no one who could surpass her achievements. She is most deserving of this high award. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rosemary Carr. Distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, and family, I would like to thank the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching and the Council for Advancement and Support of Education for this prestigious award. I am motivated by students like Angie, who returned to school, she said I could tell, after age 44. <laughs> enrolled in beginning algebra, and she is now a high school mathematics teacher. Another of my students began in developmental mathematics and, and became a Fulbright scholar. It is incumbent upon us in our role as educators to promote holistic teaching strategies that will account for the enormous inherent learning variations among our students. As William Butler Yeats once stated, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. So please join me in igniting a passion for learning within our students. We teach with enthusiasm for our subject and a desire to help others achieve. We teach because in our small corners of the world, we each make a difference. I am honored to accept this award. Thank you.